so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me. I'll be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. Well, hello, friends. So glad that you can join us today. It looks like we have a message from one of our special viewers on the computer. Let's see who it is. Hi, Kujo. My name is Jaden. I'm five years old. I want to see something with water. Thank you so much for your question. Let's try to figure this out together. Okay, friends, now we're ready to do the water experiment. You wanted to see something cool, so I'm going to show you something cool involving a glass water bottle that's filled to the top full of water, a plastic mesh that you get for like wrapping around like lemons or orange oranges or grapefruit, something like that. And then we're going to need two wooden toothpicks and we can't forget to have an elastic band. Okay, so this is how it works. Just to give you a little bit of a background. So, water is really, really cool. So, what happens is there's a couple of things at play. There's something called pressure. So, what does that mean? It means that when the water bottle is tilted upside down, normally water is gonna come down because of the gravitational pull. Now there's also pressure coming up from underneath it as well. But when I take my hand and I put it in on the tip of where the bottle is, I create what's kind of like a, like a surface tension. So I kind of create like a little bit of a block. So there's gonna be a little bit of water that might leave down from the top. So now there's a little bit of an airspace. And now for once, the pressure that's inside the bottle is gonna be equal to the pressure that is from the bottom of the bottle, okay? So now when I remove my hand, all the water is trapped into the bottle. It's not gonna come down. If I tilt it a little bit, I break that tension that's there and all the water is going to come down. So I'm going to show you how this is all going to look like. Let's take a look. So I take a bottle of water, I fill it with water, I take my plastic mesh, I put it on top, right over here on the tip of the bottle. Then I go ahead and I take this elastic band and I put it around it. Okay, let's take a look. I put it around it once, twice, and three times, and stop. Now, this is where the fun part begins. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it over, and it's gonna be in the palm of my hand, and when I remove it, the water's gonna stay. A little bit of water might drop off, but the majority of the water's gonna stay. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so it's against my hand, it's right there against my hand, like I said, there might be a little bit of water that might leave. Okay, let's see how it looks like. One, two, three. And it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, friends, our last experiment didn't work so well, but that's okay, because if you don't succeed the first time, you gotta try and try again. So, we're gonna try this experiment using the pan as an even surface to create that, that suction, okay? Here we go. Let's try it out. All right, okay, here we go. We're gonna wait a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna just go straight up very, very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. All right, here we go. 
As you can see, the water is inside. Now we're going to try with one toothpick. All right, that's okay. A little bit of water came out. Let's try a second toothpick. And the water's still there. Look at that. It's still there. Perfect. As you can see, now watch what happens. When we start to tilt the bottle a little bit to the side, all the water starts to come out. All right, here we go. Let's see. <gasps> but when we go back again, it gets trapped. Once again, the pressure inside has to be the same as the pressure outside. Now you try it. <gasps> Great job. Special thank you going out to Jaden. Hey Jaden, thank you so much. I hope you learned something cool about water and how you can use water to do different kinds of experiments. Um, that one was especially for you. So I hope you enjoyed it and please keep the questions coming. If you have a question that you wanna go ahead and ask me, please shoot a video stating your name, your age, your location. And of course, don't forget to ask your question. Your parents can join in on the fun as well. Send your video at the email address below and we'll do our best to answer all of your curious questions. It's time for me to go, but I'm looking forward to seeing you all really soon. Remember to be kind be brave and to be curious, but most importantly is to be yourself. If you like our videos, please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. For more information about our show, please visit us at kujoskidzone.com. Bye for now. I'm gonna be me. Good